This is Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This park was originally Silver Dollar City, but Hershen Entertainment acquired this park, and now it is operated as Silver Dollar, or as Dollywood, and this park also is ran by Dolly Parton, which is basically what designs everything in this park. This is one of the nicest parks in the Mer in America. Um, Hershen does a really good job at it. They have a lot of roller coasters. Um, they don't, it's not too much in the thrill. If you're looking for thrill, King's Dominion is not too, too far. It's only, it's like four, three, four hours from Dollywood. Um, there's, you'll, you'll find thrill there. This place is more family oriented, but I would much rather come here than King's Dominion. Um, their signature roller coaster being Lightning Rod, which was just, um, is getting its lift hill. Um, they have Mystery Mine, which is a Gerslauer Eurofighter. Um, Wild Eagle, which is a B&M wing coaster. Tennessee Tornado, which is the last arrow looper ever made, and that is definitely the best arrow looper. Um, there's Fire Chaser Express, which is a Gerslauer family shuttle coaster. And there's uh, Dragon Flyer, which is a Vacoma suspended family coaster. They have Big Bear Mountain, which is the new for 2023 uh, multi-launch. And then they have uh, Thunderhead, which is a GCI, which was made back in 2004. Um, their main, the main attraction that everybody talks about is Wild Eagle. Probably because of how tall it is, like, but, like, let's be honest, it doesn't do much. I have a review published for Wild Eagle, so check more out on that. But we'll start off, this park, their cinnamon bread is their best food in that park. Um, Kentucky Kingdom and Silver Dollar City have it, and Carolyn's for Winterfest and all the other Cedar Fair parks, so most of them actually did do that. So, they did it for Winterfest, so that's really cool. Um, this park has the train, um, which goes around. It's not transportation, it's just a scenic tour around the park. Um, let's talk about Tennessee Tornado first. This That roller coaster is so fun. It's 160 feet tall, and it has one of the biggest vertical loops you'll ever find on a roller coaster. And then right next to it is Fire Chaser Express and Wild Eagle. Fire Chaser Express is not much, but the launch is kind of forceful. But, I mean, it's still a kid's coaster. Um, that launch backwards was kind of surprising. Um, then there's Wild Eagle, which is the B&M Wing Coaster. I already have a review published. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Um, but they have Thunderhead, which is an awesome GCI. Um, so, if you're going to ride something here, the two main things, one thing that is the most reliable, which is probably the best ride in the park, is Thunderhead, then you have Lightning Rod, don't expect to ride it, or say, you didn't expect to ride it, you should ride it every time you go next, because it will be open operating. Um, they have a lot of these animal enclosures, um, so, they have a drop tower, uh, they have their new family section, Wildwood Grove, which has Dragonflyer, Big Bear Mountain, um, a restaurant, there's a couple of flat rides, there's a water, there's a splash pad, which, by Dragonflyer, there is Whistlepunk Chaser, which I missed when I went to Dollywood, and I forgot about it, so... Now, hopefully, I rushed it next time. <laughs> um, so, that's that's one thing about Dollywood. The drop tower is one of the best. It is a... That thing breaks really low to the ground. But you just feel like you're climbing forever. And we, we set up there... I set up there for probably 20, 20 30, 40 seconds. Um, they have an on-site hotel. 
over by the back of Lightning Rod. Splash Country, which is completely separate. It's in the same parking lot, but it's completely separate from this park. Um, but Wildwood Grove will definitely, will definitely expand in the lair. There's Timber Canyon, which is Mystery Mine, Drop Line, and Thunderhead. There's the main section of the park, which is Lightning Rod and the County Fair. So, the County Fair is where you board your train. There's a lot of flat rides over there. The County Fair is one of the weak sections of the park. Um, there's a lot over there, but it's kind of like, this would be like, this is a giant park. And don't make the mistake I did where you have, where we went around from the front entrance to get to the back of the park going right and going around. There's a little pathway over by Thunderhead that will end the Gollywood Theater. If you go around through there, it'll take you right on up. And I didn't know about that. And so we walked around the whole time. So that's one thing. So just be warned. Um, but this is a really nice park overall. They're they definitely have they don't get they they're not really amusement based they're more theme it's a theme park because dolly puts on shows here their food is amazing um everything here is really great the only thing that is one thing about this place is it's really not the best accessible place to get to um because it's like seven hours away. But that's going to wrap about everything up about Dollywood. See you in the next video. More to see here from Coaster Stuff. Bye.